Welcome, everyone, to Farcom Con 2020. It's your boys, the Mythos Busters. Uh, and joining us are some very, very special guests. We've got with us Mr. Matt J. Newman Esquire. How much of that did I get right? <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> all right. And, of course, joining us as well is Jeremy X. Swern? I like it. <laughs> okay. I'll work with it. You have so many middle names, I can never I can never be bothered to actually remember which one is the real one. You're right. <laughs> Someone I watches those playtest credits. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we and then of course are my are my fellow Mythos Busters. We've got Nick and Ian and Scott. Hello. 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 Nick. Oh damn it. <laughs> 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 For a quick second, that almost sounded like a chord. <laughs> We've got a very fun evening planned for you guys. Uh, instead of doing our normal, like, chill em and grill em interviews like we do, uh, instead, Matt and Jeremy have brought something special for us. So, uh, Matt, why don't you kind of run us through what we're going to be doing tonight? Yeah, happily. All right, so... Uh... I've put, as many of you who are watching probably already know, I've put together a fun, well, we've, sorry, put together a fun little Arkham trivia show that we're going to run you guys through. Uh, everyone who's watching or everyone who uh, saw the quiz has already answered all of the questions. It's 45 questions. It's not easy. <laughs> um, and so we're going to go through the questions one by one and test, uh, basically put you through your paces and see how well you know this game that we all love. I'm good. Sounds like a plan. All right. Uh, so, <laughs> um, also, uh, so uh, whoever gets the whoever got the most points, because uh, we're not accepting answers anymore. So one person has already been selected as a winner as far as FFP is concerned, um, which we'll announce at the end after everyone has seen all the answers and whatnot. Um, they're going to be getting a free copy of the Infinite Conspiracy. Uh, deluxe box when it releases and then i think you guys had something as well that you wanted to do uh we will be also contributing to that winner uh at one set of our swag which we just previewed on our previous stream a set of custom clue and doom tokens with the mythos busters symbol on it courtesy of pat and miles from arbits uh and then we're also giving away more than just that correct uh Scott or Ian? I think it was Scott that was with me when uh, we decided. Yeah, we're going to pick uh, four random people from chat, and we are basically going to play for them. And whichever... What was it? Oh, yeah. So uh, we're going to play for them, and those four people are going to get tokens. And then whoever which one of us wins, that person will also get an uh, Innsmouth box from us. Yeah, so we will be representing listeners who are live in Twitch right now. So, mm -hmm. listeners, viewers, actually. Gosh, there's actually viewers. I'm still not used to that. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> All right, well, so. Excellent. Can we just begin? Yeah. I don't see why not. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So, I'm going to be posting each question. Uh, I have screenshots of every question in our little chat that only we can see. That way, I don't have to keep going over the answers. Uh, over and over. What I want you guys to do when you have an answer is to just um, text me directly through Discord. That way, no one, you, you guys aren't giving each other your answers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Okay. Well, uh, oh, I guess we have to pick yeah, our. Yeah, we have to pick our. Sorry, we have to pick our users. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> pick your, pick. Good. Who is on the All Twitch right. right now? Who's actually running the Twitch? Anybody? Uh, that would be me. Okay. How right. do I do it? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Ah, Ian, do if you know? If you need some random numbers, I can pick random numbers. Okay. There's a flaw in our process, I feel. <laughs> Sorry, yes. guys. No Let's contest see. today. Uh, Matt, pick a number between 1 and 100. Oh, uh, 88. 1, 2, Pick a three, lower four. number between 1 and 100. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> one at a hundred if you don't want to count above ten. <laughs> okay. So uh Star King 177. Who's gonna take him? I will play for Star Ooh. King. Okay. Uh Jeremy, pick a number. Twenty-three. 
This is really efficient. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Doovie's Twitch. Ooh. I'll give that to Ian. Okay. I Perfect. apologize in advance. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's see. Matt, again. Yeah, look at your competition is. <laughs> number me, oh, Matt. Uh, 12. Oh, 12, 12. Oh, thanks. <laughs> well, that is... Uh, six, seven, eight. Uh, Chelming. C-H-E-L-M-I-N-G. And Jeremy, last number. Well, Sean, you'll get Chelming. Five. Nice and easy. <laughs> Archimago. And that's uh, you, Scott? Yep. Okay. No. Okay. Excellent. All right. Oh. Got your competitors? You guys mm -hmm. ready to play? We do. Yep. Let's do okay. It. All right. So I'll start us off, and then me and Jeremy will alternate giving the questions, and uh, <clears throat> let's just see what you do. All right. So question one. Uh, so this first section uh, deals with the investigators in the game. Okay. So question one. Daisy Walker possesses an eldritch tome called the Necronomicon, which has been translated many times. True. Which translation oh. don't possess? <laughs> Is it? Uh, and remember, text me the answers. Don't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Alaz, Alaus Wormius, Petrus Podacia, George Hay, John D, Owlswick, Theodorus Philippus, or Nate French. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I uh, like that these are only... multiple choice. I don't like that there's like eight options. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're not all this extensive. Um, also, someone should keep score. Who oh. isn't me? I can do it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Or or everyone just keep your own score. I guess. I don't Shack. trust those others. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've already got a hundred points. How did that happen? Oh, what points? There we are. Okay. So. You all got it correct. The answer is John D. That's the easy one. <laughs> all right. Yay. I okay, did good it. Good job. All right. William York always wanted to be an actor, but Grave Digging pays the bills. What is the Shakespeare play that he is named after? Macbeth, As You Like It, The Tempest, King Lear, Hamlet, or Othello? It wasn't Nate French. <laughs> Not this time. The Shakespearean classic of I, I, Nate I French. I love the idea that Nate French is in every single one. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We, we, uh, you guys all answer? Yes, uh, they all answered. It's his Hamlet. Oh. oh. So Sean gets a point oh, and gets a point. Of course. As Yorick, Scott didn't Yorick. know him well, Horatio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Question three. Calvin Wright has a strong sense of justice and will do anything to protect the one that he loves. What's the name of Calvin's love interest? Oh, no more spelling. Oh. Got oh, no, it's a fill-in? <laughs> yes, it's a fill-in. I, I I don't know if I spelled it right. I think. Type it and we'll. Yeah. Nick, I don't think that's correct. Well, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Pretty sure I have those vowels in the wrong order, but I think I have the right vowels. Okay, okay, okay. Here's what I'm gonna do. I think that um. Okay, so the answer is Joao. Which is, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I'm very sorry if I pronounced that wrong. <laughs> a O A O. Um. So Ian gets a full point. And I think we give half credit to Scott, who wrote J-A-O, and half credit to Sean, who also had the kind of approximate spelling but got it way wrong. But <laughs> no points to who wrote yeah. Hey, but how wrong? <laughs> how do you spell it, Sean? I want to know. It was a, it was a J -A -U -O? A U? So half okay. point? Yeah, half what point. for me? I don't speak half Portuguese. 40% <laughs> of a point. <laughs> All right. All right. Dexter Drake has an on again, off again relationship with his assistant and business partner. On stage, she takes on a different name. What is it? 
Oh, Are there right, options for this one? No. Nope. Oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> I think. I think. Mm, close. Nick. I don't. I have no idea. <laughs> Where's the right. one that I'm supposed to get right? I was told I would get one right. Oh, can we mute all our Discord notifications? Yes, we should do that. There's probably a lot of beeps coming through. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a couple. Eh. Mm -hmm. uh, That's fine. It gives it a game show feel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Chat. Nate French. <laughs> I can't Nate French. That. That's going to be my excuse. Uh, do Jeremy, I... do you want to... uh, the answer is the exotic Morgana. Oh, Morgana! Right. Mor Morgana. Oh, None of you got it. I, I guess Matthew Newman, but... I mean, yeah, I got I, Morgana. I, Can I get I another not... half point to go with my other half point? No. You think, Jeremy? <laughs> I say yes. Oh. Yes. Right, half, half, point. Half, point. half point. Favoritism. <laughs> I'll be getting a lot of that tonight. <laughs> yeah, I really yeah. attract you. <laughs> <laughs> Sally, <laughs> Sally saw me in half. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that, dude. That is not correct. <laughs> All right, here we go. Nobody suspects that Trish Scarborough secretly works for a top secret organization. What's the name of the organization that Trish joined? Is it the O'Banion Gang, the Black Chamber, the Bureau of Investigation, the Agency, Fantasy Flight Games, <laughs> or the Silver Twilight Lodge. Oh boy. Um, hmm. This one's tricky because she's not out yet. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, that doesn't help me with the other ones, but. But yes, that is tricky. Holy crap, Matt, this is really hard. Yeah. <laughs> oh, only one of you got it! Alright, so the correct answer is. The Black Chamber. Don't. Oh. Is that the one I guess? Yes! If, uh, <laughs> actually existed in the 1920s. Hmm. Oh. Not a fictional agency, which is something completely different. I was about to say, it seemed like the agency was a little too on the nose. <laughs> yeah, but also, like, sort of the agency and the IP sort of <laughs> encompass a lot of different organizations. Oh, sure. So it's kind of an answer, but the correct answer is the Black Chamber. So can I get another uh, half point? Uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's multiple choice. <laughs> uh, all right. right. Jenny Barnes acquired her trademark 45s by stealing them from a certain somebody. Who is that unlucky person? Their last name is not enough. I read the novella of that, too. Oh, no I choices. I read that novella. That was the one novella I read. Don't know the answer. You guys have it extra rough because you're not allowed to look it up. Everyone else was allowed to look it up. Oh, so why wasn't there more 100%? Come on. Oh, God, it's in the flavor text. <laughs> it's in the flavor text! <laughs> Guns McGee. <laughs> I just made something up. Me too. Oh, my God. Yeah. So much made up answers. I wish everyone at home could see all these made up answers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, the answer. Right. Yeah. The answer is it's Dainty Donahue. Mm. Oh. Sean, do you get a half point for that? <laughs> nope, not even close. I lose a half point for my shitty answer. Yeah, Bobby take, fish take a half point away. <laughs> Bobby Fishfinger. Neither is Nick Gangster. <laughs> <laughs> All right, last question in this section. Here we go. The story behind Ashcan Pete's nickname is a funny one. What's his last name? Oh, oh my God. God. What is it? Oh god, I don't think I'm gonna get another question right. Nope, I think I think I <laughs> That's as good as I got. I got my one point. They get harder and harder in each section. So the next okay. section will start with an easy one and it'll get harder again. Mm. Alright, oh. so the answer 
is Washburn. Oh, um, you got it. of course it was. Who got it? <laughs> All right. So, uh, what, what, what's the score? Is that? Uh, I'm sorry. I still missed who got that last one. No one. Oh, no oh, one. Maybe. Oh, okay. Then yeah. we have Sean and Ian tied with three. Scott has two and a half, and I have one. <laughs> two and half. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Fifteen. Jeremy, you want to start out the next section? Uh, this, this section. I wish I could, uh, but my last play trivia thing it disappeared. So oh, no. you go ahead and read this one. Oh, okay, okay. Let me know when you get it back. Uh, so this this uh, whole next section deals with questions about a very specific place okay. called the Clover Club. Hmm. Uh -huh. So the unassuming, if unoriginal business serves as the legitimate front for the notorious Clover Club. What is its name? Y'all better get this one. Oh my god. Olive Garden. I mean Uh oh, Nick. Yeah. Come on, oh Nick. don't call me out. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> some, some of the answers in yeah. Olive Garden Pizza Hut. <laughs> okay, so correct <laughs> answer. You guys ready? Mm -hmm. The correct answer is La Bella Luna. Which, oh uh, everybody god. got except for Nick who yeah. wrote <laughs> cheese. <laughs> which uh, is neither neither uh, the correct answer in this context, nor is it actually the name of the place, Chuck E. Cheese. Isn't that Chuck E. Cheese's? Like with a, oh, you know, and yeah, it's also Chuck, Chuck hyphen e. e, and I put Chuck oh, yeah, E no, like it's, the it's doll. It's middle initial. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it's yeah. Chuck E dot and then cheese. <laughs> um, I just realized, yeah. you can keep going, but I just realized that the chat on the stream is not our... Because is our Twitch chat going right now? Because this one is... Yeah. Yeah. It's going. Okay. You then I, oh, you must still have I need to update to that. Your... So, yep. Yep. Just a sec. You guys keep, right. keep going, but I'm going to do this real quick. Okay. All right. Uh, next question. In which of these neighborhoods is the Clover Club located? Is it East Town? Is it the Merchant District? Is it Downtown, North Side, River Town, or South Side? Mm. My answer is going to be a little mm. delayed as I get this switched over. All good. <clears throat> it's definitely in Queens. It's Queens. Mm -hmm. Brooklyn. Brooklyn. <laughs> I don't think that's correct. <laughs> <laughs> What would you know? Flavor Town. <laughs> uh, <laughs> ready? A little Ireland. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. All right, the correct answer is downtown. Oh. Which, not a... Yay. <laughs> yep. Sorry. I was trying to imagine the Arkham 3rd Edition, like, tiles in my head. Like, <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> Um, okay, so uh, so Jer uh, Jeremy can't seem to get the quiz back open again. So what oh, I'm going to do is I'll, I'll post the, I'll post the, the the screenshots that I have in the chat window so that he can read them off. So Jeremy, you want to take the next one? I'll post it in the thing. Sure. And while we're while we're having that real quick, who is currently logged into Mythos Busters Twitch or who has access to Streamlabs? Anybody? Uh, I'm in the Twitch. Because the, the URL I need is on Streamlabs. And I could copy it from another um, scene, but that would change what everybody's seeing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Should I just do that real quick? Go ahead. Okay. Get All it right. out of the way. Here we go. Woo! Yeah. Ignore me. Ignore me. <laughs> no, I went to the wrong one, of course. Now I got to go to oh, a different good. one. Oh, now I'm gone. Thank you. Thanks for that. <laughs> Continue to ignore me. <laughs> Are you ready, kids? Still... <laughs> Is that Lily in the background saying, yeah, yeah? <laughs> yep. <Sure. laughs> um, okay, well, I guess I'll go. Did it change for all? Yeah. 
Okay. Oh my god, almost there. I am sweating because uh, my balls are on stream right now, and there's nothing I can do about it. There. <laughs> Why do you have a camera under your desk? <laughs> Wait, you guys don't? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> yeah. You know, when you get this close, they just look like landscapes. I thought those. The guy told me that came with the desk. I didn't know. What <laughs> <laughs> oh god. All right, we're good now. All right, you ready? Yep. Wait. Okay, Jeremy. All right. Go for it. Next question. What is the name of the person who runs the Clover Club? Oh, okay. I, whoops, I went to edit my score, and I have to answer first. Faith <laughs> <laughs> there, buddy. I was just excited I finally knew another. Right. God, I can't remember. <laughs> Waiting on you, Ian. All right. Uh, all right, the answer is Peter Clover. Yay! That would make sense. Hey, yes. <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, next question is... Who, who all got that one? Everybody but Ian? Everybody but Ian got that one correctly. Okay, cool. Um, Ian, he's an ally in the game. <laughs> <laughs> the ally I've gotten once, I think. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. In the scenario, the house always wins. Investigators travel to the Clover Club in search of a missing professor. Which of the following is not a gambling term used as part of the title or subtitle of a card in this scenario? Because I love puns. Is it beginner's luck, all in, double or nothing, hold, high roller, skin game, or holding all the cards? In this, this scenario. Is, this is not return to the house always oh, wins. Right? Normal, normal house always wins. One of these is not used on a card in that scenario. Oh my god! <clears throat> Alright, fine. We're going with it. Oh, it was a tough one. Oh. God, that is tough. I... Mm. Okay. Okay, so the correct answer is double or nothing. Damn it! Ah! Holy God. Sean gets a point. Yay! Ah. Gets a point. Yay, Man, Sean, or whatever. Good, yeah. <laughs> uh, I also skipped a question. Yay! So I mean, technically, it me. was in the box, though, wasn't it? Wasn't that where double or nothing came out? Yeah. But it wasn't used in that scenario. No, it was not. You got well, it right, I don't Sean. Know if it was. Anyway, yeah, you got it right. What are you talking about? Uh, all right, so uh, make believe that this next question comes hot on the heels of the previous question, the Peter Clover question. <laughs> oh, okay. Sure. Okay. All right. Jeremy, you want to take this one? Name of that person's fiance. Peter Clover's fiance. Oof. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no. Oh no! Oh wait, is it in chat? <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. Cause Not I got anymore. I got one of the names. I can't remember the other one. Damn it! I hope I'm wrong. <laughs> Lita <ending>. Chandler. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's Umar Doth's fiance. <laughs> All right, where's the answer? Yeah, go for it. Naomi O'Banion. Naomi! Oh uh, God! Naomi O'Banion. Do I get a half? Uh, mm, all right. So Jeremy ruling. Does Nick get a half point for Nancy O'Banion? Don't put it in quotes. <laughs> mm, wrong. It is. I mean, she's a card in the game, Nick. Nancy Come isn't. On. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be nice and go with yes. Thank you. Got you. So oh, all right. Yeah, you got you got a little bit of it. Anybody no got it? No one else. Sean, Sean gets full credit. You get a half credit. Sean gets full. He got Naomi O'Banion. Yeah. Not only did he get it, he almost gave it to all of you. That's true. Oh, you're right. You're right. I missed it. Okay. All right. So that's the end of that section. So next section. This entire section deals with the campaigns for. Arkham Heart of the Card Game. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Uh, this one's a doozy, but let's see how well you do. In the Night of the Zealot campaign, the dreaded cult of Amordoth is attempting to satiate the hunger of their master. 
each of the following characters is not a member of this cult. Mm -hmm. uh, and the laundry list of people. Is it Wolfman Drew, Billy Cooper, The Masked Hunter, Ruth Turner, Herman Collins, Jeremiah Pierce, Peter Warren, Sebastian Moreau, Victoria Devereaux, or Alma Hill? Only one of those people is not a member of the cult. That one I feel like I knew. It did! Yay! I almost put the answer in the chat again. <laughs> Sean. Jeez, oh, me too. Whoops. <laughs> hey, <once. laughs> not done. Nate French again. <clears throat> Nate <laughs> French. Okay. The correct Which is answer true. is The correct answer is Sebastian Moreau. He is the producer of the King in Yellow in the Carcosa campaign. Uh, the next question better be what's oh. the name of the producer of the King in Yellow? <laughs> <laughs> Every, everybody got that one except for Scott. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people on the on the online version of the quiz wrote uh, Billy Cooper. Sounds tricky because three of these characters are from the Return mm, to okay. mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, which they're not as well known. But those three are Billy Cooper, um, Alma Hill, and Herman. No, not Herman Collins. Um, Jeremiah Pierce mm -hmm. are the other. Nosy neighbor. neighbor. That's the right. one name I didn't recognize, and so I was like, oh, maybe that one. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, you want to do the next one? All right. In a Dogmuch legacy, some characters might get sacrificed to a certain ancient one. Which of the following characters can be sacrificed to Yog Sadath? Check all that apply. <laughs> Earl Sawyer, <laughs> Jazz Mulligan, Silas Bishop, Henry Armitage, Adam Lynch, Francis Morgan, Warren Rice, Seth Bishop, Zebulon Waitley, Gerald Walstead, Peter Clover, or Duke. <laughs> Aww. I laughed I when I got sad. On my computer so that I remember which... You're making lines. me go back and forth between these channels now. Gosh. I'm so sorry. You this is just be. the best way to do it. Unless you wanted to implement the buzzer, but... I <laughs> <laughs> Although I guess we, if you want to swap, we could swap to a buzzer. The first person to type the word buzz in the chat gets the answer or something. No, 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 no. no. This is fine. Early, Far too much pressure. Ah, oh, Ian, so close. Do we get one point for each name? No, it's one point if you get all of them. Oh, oh boy. Um... There was like one name I forgot. Now I'm questioning yeah, if Ian, I... you missed. Uh, yeah, you actually had all the right answers, but then you added one additional one that can't be sacrificed. Who did? Oh, Ian. yes, yes, yes. I know how I missed that. Okay. Mm. Art all right. student. <laughs> oh, six. Uh, yeah, Jeremy, do you want to take it? Six correct answers. Damn it. Earl Sawyer, uh, Henry Armitage, Francis Morgan, Warren Rice, Zebulon Waitley, and Old Duke. Zeb was the one I missed. God damn it. Yeah, Can Peter so, uh, Clover not get sacrificed? Peter Clover can't. No, you only yeah. get. Yeah. I added them in. I was thinking in the return version you could get them, but I was uh, mistaking wow. him for Naomi. Yeah. <clears throat> And Naomi, you don't get until after Blood on the Altar. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Did, did. Anybody get that right? Yes, I believe. Um, let's see. I Sean. think Sean did. God. Guys, we're not going to catch up to him. Uh, <laughs> I know. We really aren't. <laughs> yeah. Terrible. All right. Ready for the next one? Mm hmm. Okay. Throughout the path to Carcosa campaign, the investigators pursue a stranger in a pallid mask. Who are they, really? Are they just an actor who plays the stranger in The King in Yellow? Are they yourself? Are they a certain ancient one whose name I will not utter here? Are they an avatar of The King in Yellow? Are they a figment of your imagination? Or does it depend on who's asking? <coughs> Oh, 
Hey Matt, right. remember that time we were uh, playing uh, through Carcosa? <laughs> I need to fill up my release. I knew it. <laughs> and you were standing right there. I was like, oh, I know how to do this. Haster, Haster. <laughs> Don't say his name. <laughs> <laughs> Two oh, more on key of these. skills. Yep. <laughs> so the, this answer uh, hinges upon how much you understood of the, the point behind the Carcosa campaign. But the answer is, it depends on who's asking. Yay. Because oh. it can be any or all of those things. So everyone got that one except for Scott. Womp womp. Mm. I picked an avatar of the king in yellow. Technically, oh, that's correct. not the wrong yeah. That's one of the options. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not yeah. the most right answer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Jeremy, you up for the next one? Yep. In the Forgotten Age, the investigators are searching for the ruins of a lost Aztec city-state. What is its name? We've got the uh, the six in chat. If you can see it, yeah. Mm -hmm. Jeremy wasn't going to read those. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I Uh, Some of these I can't even pronounce. That's why I don't want to see them. Itchtaka, Etzli. And the last one, Atska Patslako. Bless like that. you. Something, yeah, it says something like that. It's, a, it's, All right. it's Chaka for sure. Sure. <laughs> All, right, right. You ready? All the answers are in. It's that's Lee. Yay. Woo. <laughs> that one except for Scott. Sorry, Scott. Scott. Whoops. No sheet line is a real aspect. Scott, you wrote that, that into a song, man. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I I thought it was like I was like, oh man, what was the I, I don't know why Tena Chitalan like it just popped mm. in my mind. I can see the location from Boundary Beyond. Yeah, I was like, is that the one they're looking for? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I knew I was gonna lose uh, this game, so sorry for whoever <laughs> I'm playing for. Fair enough. I, I see another one, so I'll go ahead and do the next one that would be on that list, and then when it gets to Jeremy again, I'll go back and do the one that I skipped. So, uh, we're still in the Forgotten Age land. Uh, in the Forgotten Age, investigators make use of many different supplies in order to reach the nexus of Nakai. Which of these is not a supply used in this campaign? Is it a pickaxe, medicine, tent, gasoline, provisions, rope, torches, or pendant? See, <laughs> after, 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 <laughs> this one was easy for me. <laughs> yeah, because you looked at the supply list after all those Iron Man like spreads. years. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I, have a, I can list all of the supplies <laughs> mapping out what right. needs to happen. You guys all got this one correct. The answer is ten. Nice, good job, guys. Yeah, you did it. Okay. Uh, I skipped. Sorry. Wait, so we're going back in time to Path to Carcosa here. Okay. In, in this scenario, the last king, the investigators are invited to a fancy dinner party. At what address is this party located? Oh. <laughs> 1313 Dead End Drive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Great game. Yeah, it is a good game. Which one of these is Nate French's address? <laughs> <laughs> the last one. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Definitely sure, that one. Sure about that one? <laughs> um... <laughs> Ian, that's not even one of the answers. <laughs> <laughs> Did you put your own address? Uh, no, there was a list of answers. Oh, I should have read those, sorry. Yeah. Uh, 1313 Dan Drive, <laughs> 1452 Atlantic Avenue, 4722 Elmer's Drive, 1559 Crestview Manor, or 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. Okay. Uh, and you can pick your answer. I'll put my real answer. <laughs> no, you have to stick with the one you said. <laughs> My original answer was 221 <laughs> Yellow Street. <laughs> I was really hoping you would just put your own address. <laughs> all right. All the answers are in. Jeremy, go for it. Uh, it's 1452 Atlantic Avenue. Damn it. Uh, yes. Yeah, so Scott and Sean got that one correct. Sean, stop it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it. Scott, you and I are tied for last. Yes. <laughs> Guys, okay. if I wasn't into memorizing useless minutia, I wouldn't play card games. <laughs> I wonder how many people would actually 
know that one just by looking at the addresses and how many would have to like look it up. Mm-hmm. But it's mentioned like, three times throughout the campaign. So Not- I just I just knew two of them were wrong. Yeah, and I guess <laughs> from the other three. Yep, exactly. <laughs> That's not 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that That's the White House, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Yeah, okay, French's house. No. <laughs> <laughs> French, yeah. oh, big Kahuna, that's definitely the name of my autobiography. <laughs> Sean is so self satisfied. <laughs> <laughs> so, next question. One of my favorites. In the Circle Undone campaign, if you pry too deep, you might become hunted. What is hunting you? Is it. Kaziah Mason? Is it Azatha? The Spectral Watcher? The Abstract Concept of Death? Or Yarlathotep? Wrong chapter. Oh, whoops. So this is going to separate the people who read the epilogue from the people who didn't read the epilogue, but the correct answer is the abstract concept of death, which everyone got but Nick. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. There is, a, a boot is, not, there is famously an entire the- scenario in that campaign that I do not remember. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> went into a fugue state. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> was that the pandemic right. one? Yeah, it's the one that everyone's yes. like, "It's Arkham Pandemic." I'm like, that doesn't help me. I just straight up do not remember it on my table. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're 99 percent sure he skipped it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question, uh, Jeremy, take it away. In the Circle on Dung campaign. Anna Caslow gives the investigators a tarot reading. With each card pertaining to one scenario they are soon to face. Which of these cards does not appear in Anna's reading? Oh, God. <laughs> Justice, Wheel of Fortune, The Lovers, The Hierophants, The Hermits, Temperance, The Chariots, Death, Judgment, or The Hanged Man? Well, I have a D10 right here. <laughs> you have the first of every scenario in the circle and then memorized? Nope. <laughs> I have a feeling yeah. this is wrong, but Shogun Joe Gondor guesses Gondor, like, the Steward of good. Gondor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plus Jeremy, one Steward of Gondor. The answer is death. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, because death is one of the player cards. Yeah. So yeah. Routine. Arrows. Uh, Which scenario uh, is the Hierophant? The Hierophant is for the greater good. Oh, interesting. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, Justice is um, de- uh, Death's Doorstep. Wheel of Fortune is the last scenario. The Lovers is Union and Disillusion. The Hierophant is uh, for the greater good. Hermit is the secret name. Temperance is the Witching Hour. Chariot is Clutches of Chaos. Judgment is the Prologue. And the hanged man is the way to lose them. And we're gonna have everyone's gonna have that memorized by Iron Man this year, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did anybody get that right? No one got that right. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, here's my here's my favorite of the questions that Jeremy designed, but I'm gonna read it. So, <laughs> the Innsmouth conspiracy campaign is inspired by H.P. Lovecraft's The Shadow Over Innsmouth. Knowing that, what of the following characters can we expect to see make an appearance? Is it the terrible old man? Is it Anne Marsh? Is it Walter Gilman? Is it Peter Griffin? Or is it Zadok Allen? Peter Griffin! <laughs> We're picking the one who will appear? Oh, yeah. wait a minute! Most likely to appear. <laughs> Damn it. Can I change my answer? Marsh, I'd like uh, you to look at the picture of Mac Hammond. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say, Matt? Can I change it? Yeah, you can change it. Okay. What were the uh, first two you said? Because the connection was cutting out. They're in the chat. uh, Oh, they're in the chat. Okay, never mind. If they're in the chat. Yeah. Yeah, all the the questions are getting posted in chat, so you can check that. Okay. 
Oh, my beer is out of itself. I'll be right back. Oh, how dare you it? Good. Ask like six questions while he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's catch up. <laughs> it is objectively the worst. <laughs> I'll wait for I'll wait for him before I give the answer, or do I just give the answer? <laughs> Nate Fish from the chat. Show me French. The, <laughs> Nate Fish. The the um tarot Show one. Show French. Oh. The tarot one, Doovie's Twitch said, uh, all the tarot cards, he said, the French. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. good. Uh, the correct answer is Zadok Allen. Damn it! Why did you let me change it? <laughs> and then you switched to the trick answer, the trick answer which is Walter Gilman. He's from Dark Corners actually, of the Earth. He's from well, he's also the Witch House. Uh, Dreams of the Witch House. He's oh. not actually in Shadow Over Innsmouth, but there is a location in the Shadow Over Innsmouth called the Gilman House. Yeah, that's the inn that's or what whatever, isn't it? God. Yeah, that's the hotel. Well, shoot. So. <laughs> is, Stan, is Stan Marsh like St- Stan from Stan South, Park? Park. South Park? South Park. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but Marsh sure. throws you off. Who got that one right? Yeah. Anybody? Uh, yes, uh, Sean got it right. Damn it. And oh, did. I did not. Yep. Okay. Oof. There's All a right. specific audiobook that I read, and the dude just pronounced Zadok Allen like mm. so Zadok <laughs> stuck in my brain. Allen. I'm Zadok. All right. Go to the next one. Jeremy, take it away. In the interludes, the inner circle, in the Circle Undone campaign, investigators are given a chance to ask Carl Sanford several questions, one of which is Why are you looking at me like that? Why is he looking at you like that? <clears throat> You're tired? You're already dead. He doesn't trust you. You didn't give him your mementos. You're possessed by Keziah Mason. Spoilers, by the way. <laughs> Spoilers. <laughs> My family just got home, so I apologize if there's a little bit of background noise. No worries. Hmm. Hmm. You're actually Nate French. <laughs> or, because you're not me French. <laughs> All the answers are in. Uh, because you're already dead. Yay! Oh, I was going to go with that one. Oh, damn it. So everyone but Scott got that one. <laughs> damn it. And Scott, one, you like, and I are literally I'm... just like neck and neck. I know. I was let's like, get, let's get a like, update. Really? Uh. <laughs> Um, okay, so Scott and I are tied with the best score of 7.5. It's golf, I- right? Ian has 10, and Sean has something higher than 10. <laughs> Sean has 16. Oof. Oh, lead of six. Right. Oh, wow. <laughs> Someone reads their campaign log. <laughs> I'm, I'm it I. True. It is true. Okay. Uh, last section, last question in this section. In the Dream Eaters campaign, investigators travel to Alfar, the city of cats. How many player cards represent characters that are cats, including cards that have been spoiled from upcoming products? Oof. And it's a it's a choose the answer. It's between zero and ten. Oh, okay, we're picking a number. Okay. Mm. Oh, oh, represent characters that are cats. Oh, 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 I'm changing that. Okay, change it. Go ahead. I did. The second one's my right answer. My my. The second one's my right answer. Okay, okay. Mm, player cards. I think you guys type is my favorite part of it. <laughs> mm, okay. Chat is winning eight French. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, everyone, the answers are in. The correct answer is eight cats. Oh, oh! Eight. that's a lot. Shoot. Okay, so there's cat, cat mom and her army. That's four. Yep. Yeah, that's straight cat. Four, the black cat. Straight, five. Black cat is six. Um, foolishness. Foolishness. Oh! Is oh! What did I miss? Is the familiar spirit. 
That one. That one. Yeah. Like they don't. You guys didn't see the spoiler, I guess. <laughs> no, I guess not. <laughs> Is that so? Nobody got it right. Nobody got it right. Okay. Okay. Two of you were really close, though. After I answer this next question, I'm going to step away for just a second, and then I'll be right back. Oh sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're not right. like you can lose points. So. Right. I'm in last. Yeah. Jeremy's going to read the next one. So this next section uh, is called One Shot, and it deals with all of the standalone scenarios. Ooh. Mm. You're right. I will okay. get one right. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> in the Curse of the Rougarou, investigators have the option to attempt to cure the beast instead of slaying it. Which of the following is not a task they must perform in order to do so? Calm the beast down by finding a binding stone or a strange doll. Discovering the truth of the curse by parleying with Lady Esprit. Keep the Rougarou contained by attaching a trap to it. Learn more about the curse by collecting four clues per investigator. Or protect themselves by placing one per investigator damage on the Rougarou. Done with the right answer before he's even done reading the first two. I can read. <laughs> okay. Did I get did I get right, Matt? I'm pretty sure. I guess you're gonna find out in a second. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, but I don't want you know. Don't tell everybody. But... Jeremy, take it away. Uh, it's parlay with Lady Esperit. Yeah. So uh, everyone got that one right except for Nick. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gone. Um, all right. So. I guess we'll wait for him to come back. I mm -hmm. only knew that one, and I probably would have got it wrong if I hadn't been playing so much Rougarou, uh, developing the draft format. Mm -hmm. so that's one of our suggested scenarios. What are the uh, what are the achievements on that one? Or like the you know the competitive pieces? Oh, uh, we say first one to a uh, positive ending, so either killing the Rougarou or um, curing it, like one of the. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so first one of that based on rounds. Uh, okay. Tie is tiebreaker is victory points, and then health and sanity left on your team investigators. Okay. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I loved the part with the everything. <clears throat> yeah, I'm I'm itching to get back to draft. That was uber fun. Yeah, I I want to continue our game. <laughs> you guys yeah, actually sure. the cards, but I didn't see the actual gameplay afterwards. Who who won? Oh, we, we, didn't, we, we didn't finish. finish. Yeah. Oh, we so we okay. saved them. Nice. Yeah. We took so damn long drafting. Ooh. We took so <laughs> damn long drafting that we uh, we had to bail, I don't know, probably halfway through the scenario. I yeah. Think, but there was uh, like. To get ready for the patron event. Was it round two that we drew like five weaknesses as a yeah. group? Yeah. Like, it was just brutal. That's awesome. So are yeah. you like both games concurrently, like on the same table? No. Uh, no, two we different games. Yeah. Different tables, but like, but like in the same voice chat or something. No, well, I ha we have it set up so um, there's a team A voice chat, a team B voice chat, and then a group one. So you're oh, off in your side chats, and then like during the weakness phase, you jump back. Yeah, and the idea is like, uh, um, like when I was imagining it uh, with Casey, it was like we were thinking of FFG where the big white tables are in that front area, it, and you know. Right. One team's sitting over there, you're sitting over there, and then you'd be like, hey, we have to pick a class. It's Guardian. You know, like, the beckons <laughs> and the summons. So you beckon to them. Like, I like it. Yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm back. That's cool. All right. You got uh, it wrong, no and you're the only uh, one. Oh, what? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Is that seriously what happened? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's no parlay with that. That's what I... God, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> all right so i will ask the next one but i can't really ask this next one out loud and you'll see in a moment so just, just look in the chat okay. in the chat Oof. the answers are uh oh no not this again jeremy's Wern, hp lovecraft exodalon selenus extra ward or preston fairmont um <laughs> This one's easy. Oh, yep, got it. Got it. Uh, there you go. I wonder how many people got, like, immediate 
like PTSD flashbacks to Gen Con uh, 20, <laughs> 2018. 18. Uh, I this question. The correct answer is Exodalon. Mm hmm. Correctly. Mm. Yeah. Um, in case you can't unscramble that, it says, uh, What is the name of the villain in Labyrinth? Mm. Um, that Scramble. is what. It's Exodalon. So. That is 100% the best blind play scenario in the game. Yes. Like if you're playing you Epic multiplayer? Epic, yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. mind-boggling. Yeah. All right. Uh, you ready for the next one, Jeremy? Yep. Go. In the Night's Usurper, Zara, chosen of the Brotherhood of the Beast, is attempting to a coup of the Abyss. What Elder God is he attempting to overthrow? Nodens? Narlathotep? Bast? Ulthar or Yagditha? Hmm. 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 You have to actually read into it. <clears throat> all right. All the answers are in. It is Nodens. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. So Sean got that one correctly. And of course he did. That one correctly. Sean and Ian? Yes, Sean and Ian. The Brotherhood of the Beast is a cult that worships an aspect of Nyarlathotep. So Jara is ah. essentially on the Pep side. Nodens and Nyarlathotep are opposed to one another. If you remember, one of the things you can do is topple over a statue of Nodens. Mm. <laughs> That's oh, one of the sure, yep. With Jara. All right. Uh, I will do the next one. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Here we go. Guardians of the Abyss featured a player-driven event in which the results at Gen Con and Arkham Knights determine one of three different weaknesses inflicted in a future product. I haven't forgotten about this, by the way. <clears throat> These weaknesses is coming very soon to haunt you. Is it mm. the Aspect of the Beast, the Abyssal Covenant, or Day of Reckoning? Mm. I'll give you guys a hint. I'll give you guys a hint. Aspect of the Beast is the one that you would have earned if you, uh, uh, if the vast majority of people sided with or defeated Jara. Abyssal Covenant is the one that you would have earned if the majority of people sided with Jara. And Day of Reckoning is the one that you would earn if the majority of people failed the scenario. I I thank you for that that hint. Mm -hmm, yeah, <laughs> gave some context. <laughs> Give that to the uh, but get that that little hint. But we're doing worse than they were, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, there I'm doing do. worse than they were. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> People in chat. Well, now it's easier. <laughs> <laughs> are people? Are people are just naming people's stubborn <laughs> Nate French. It's a stubborn detective. Sean to the flame. <laughs> so the, the correct answer is. Day of Reckoning. Ah, Yay. shoot. Ah. Sean got that one, and Scott got that one. I just remember having a conversation with you, Matt, about how more people sided with the villain than you expected. And so that is true. I went with that. <laughs> I also remember playing that scenario and getting my ass kicked. Yeah, so. <laughs> that's true. That's true, too. Yeah. That was the relevant memory. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> Although, right. at, at Arkham Knights, we... Uh, Ian, you and I we backstabbed Sean. Yeah, we, no, you, we sacrificed Sean and uh, Brandon <laughs> and so that Brando. we could yep. side with the bad guy. Yeah, like, well, fuck these guys. All right, Nick, this one's for you, Jeremy. Hey, yeah, better get this one. <laughs> In the murder at the Excelsior Hotel, the investigators are lured to a man's hotel room where a grisly murder took place. Which hotel room was it? Room two forty-five, room two twenty-five, room two twelve. Room 234, room 325. I don't oh, know. Nick. Really? <laughs> I love it. It's between it. two. So I'm going to guess. They're just numbers, Matt. I don't keep that in mind. <laughs> I, put it on the card so I wouldn't have to remember it. <laughs> you said it. All right, it's room 225. Oh, thank God. Oh, God damn. damn. Ian and Nick got that one correct. Thank you, Ian. Uh, so now here's the ball. 
Uh, Sean and Scott answered 212. Uh, which one is 212, Nick? Do you remember? 212 is the one that has the um, the uh, alien brain in it. There you go. You are hmm. correct, sir. Do I get a point for that? Nope. I'm in I last mean, place. <laughs> you designed the scenario. Yeah. Did. did you get a point for that? I think maybe he gets a point for that. Woo. Now Does I'm... that put him ahead of me? No, we're tied. I was behind you by two points. Okay, I'll let him tie me. <laughs> the battle for last place. Yeah. <laughs> battle the basement. Okay. Uh, is this one me, Jeremy? Yep. Okay. Uh, the blob that ate everything is a creature that can devour any aspect of reality. But game mechanics are not infinite. So, which of these can't subject 8L08 devour mm. the treachery reality acid? Is it your hand, the elder sign token, your shoes? your house, the concept of language, your versatility, or itself. Mm. Well, That's a my wife knows from playing with from Sean <laughs> <laughs> that it can devour your hand. Dude, Gen Con and then Arkham Knights. That was my treachery. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Everyone uh, left it for me. Yes. LeGrock in chat, he can definitely devour Nate French. <laughs> eight French. Oh, eight French. Oh, I don't. Wait, um, yeah, I, I think this is wrong, but I don't know Pick which one. other ones. Wait, right, only one of you got the correct answer. The rest of you all picked the same one. The answer is your shoes. Ah. Uh, oh wait. I got that wrong. So, <laughs> Wait, how did if it, it devour devours your? If it devours your house, you have to go get the card "Your House" from mm -hmm. the Midnight Mass. Oh, oh, right. Uh, so Ian got that one, I assume. Yep. Yes, Ian got that one. Yes. You're starting to close in it. on Sean, Ian. You're five away. All right. Uh, five away. <laughs> <laughs> I thought shoes was like it, like reduced your mobility or something for a turn but i think i think one of the options is like your mobility or something along those lines yeah and it's about but, yeah. um okay well uh so for these next this this next section is called the painted world for this next section i'm going to show you a card image hmm. you have to tell me what the card is. oh okay, okay. Ooh, this there's not, there's not really anything to read, so Jeremy, we'll just go through these ones. I'll just post them in the chat. Um, so, first one is this guy. Oh. You guys watching can't see the image that I'm showing them, but it's a scary thing. <laughs> Iconic, one might say. <laughs> yeah, you, if you don't get this one right, okay, you all got it, it right. It's scrying. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, kind of. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeremy. Stick with a priest. Paint French. <laughs> Paint priest. Paint. What? Paint, Paint French. French. <laughs> I can't even. This is so good. <laughs> uh, next one. Uh, this guy here is working on something big. Who is he? Oh, mm. oh. Full name? Full card, please. Full card title. Or as close as you can get. Oh, God. <laughs> I only remember you know this really because funny? of the last couple months. <laughs> <laughs> this is an FFG employee, and he goes to my local brewery. So, like, occasionally before COVID, I would, like... <laughs> Just see this character enter. It was fun. Is this oh, the guy with a twin brother or something? Two of you. Okay, okay. So the correct answer is Dr. William T. Mallison. Oh. Um, mm. so Nick gets 100% full credit. Yay. Uh, Scott, you get full credit. You wrote William T. Mallison. You clearly know who it is. Yeah. Sean we're, we're on a first name basis, so I don't use this title. <laughs> 
Sorry, Where's Chris? I forgot his first name. I don't know what you want. Yeah, I forgot Doctor, his first name. Doctor <laughs> just flows to Christopher. I just I play Arkham. I yeah. play Christopher too. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I can watch Dr. Christopher Mallison. That would have been kind of funny, actually. But, uh, it's William. And yes, that, that is an FFG employee. His name is Anton Torres, or uh, ex uh, FFG employee. He doesn't work for the company anymore. He, he quit uh, or he moved uh, a little while back. But um, great guy. Awesome dude. Um, all right. Great card. Moving on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> Here we go. Next one. Mm. Oh, come on. <laughs> mm. Oh. Oh, the wait. Oh, it's fish. three of them. Oh, it's okay. The name of the cat on the far right. Oh, yeah. I was going to I was going to put all of them in there. I'm hoping I'm spelling it right. Well, <laughs> oh, that's a good indication. Thanks, Scott. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> How do Correct you to answer? Augur. Oh, that's right. <clears throat> yep, Augur. Uh, so, uh, Augur. Ian got that one wrong. The rest of you got it right. Um, oh. Bonus. What are the other two? Uh, do we get points? No, uh, just tell me. Just say oh, it. Middle, the middle zeal, right? No, no the, the middle. left one zeal. Left oh. One's Okay. Middle yeah. one's hope. Yeah, yeah that's so working. He's like, woohoo! Uh. <laughs> hope is hope is the agility one, right? Zeal is Zeal is combat. Augur yeah. is Augur is clues. Yeah. Intellect. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Uh, <laughs> Nate Burnch. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Why not? Yeah. Alright, next one. What's going on in this image? Oh. Mm. Mm. Wait, what's going on, or what's the title? What's the title of the card? Okay. <laughs> I mean, the title of the card is what's going on. I mean, um, that's not But one of those answers so, is two he, two words. The other one is a complete sentence. <laughs> Bait French. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. All right, uh, y'all got it right. The correct answer is warning shot. Yay! Pew pew pew. pew. All right. Yes, or that's what a gun uh, sounds like. Pew. Last one. Uh, I'm I'm hoping you get this one, Nick. Oh geez, hang on. What is this thing? Oh, I gotta I gotta mm. update scores. Oh. Mm. What is this thing? Is it a shotgun? Oh no! I know what that is. <laughs> Well, like we talked about this in gory detail on the podcast, I distinctly remember. <laughs> I do not remember. <laughs> hmm. Uh, after this, we'll do a score check. Sure. Well. Yep. Yeah. This, is, this is the last question in this section, so. Oh, I'm good at these. Okay. Uh, Sean, I need a slightly deeper answer from you. <laughs> oh, um. Oh. Oh, oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> it's Mrs. Doyle. I want to make Sean. sure that you got it. Right, here we go. <laughs> I mean, you want to go for the correct answer? That's me when I woke up out of bed yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> the hotel manager. I, I really hope that we, we just say wait. we just say manager. Mr. Manager. Hotel manager is the correct answer. Or Nick's manager of the hotel. That that, that works too. Who <laughs> who who got who got that one? Everyone got no. I'm sorry. Nick and Sean got that one. Uh, Ian wrote custodian, which is close, mm. but it's not the custodian. Manager. Custodian's right and below Scott, the manager in rank. Scott wrote <laughs> Nate French. Uh, Nate French. Well, turns out it was not Nate French. <laughs> okay, score check. Oh, I just scrolled away from it, jeez. Um, score is Sean with 24, uh, Ian with 17, my tremendous comeback with 15.5, and Scott with 14.5. So, ah, see, this last question was rigged for you. Thank so. you, hotel manager. <laughs> you're, you're, you're cheating. <laughs> you and I have been doing this the whole time, Scott. I know, yeah. Because they're both terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Got 11 questions left. Oof. You guys ready? 
Yep. All right. So these next five questions are just like the last five, except instead of showing you an image, I'm actually going to share an exact sentence that was taken from the art description. Yes. This is awesome. Artist that was then used to create the image. And you have I to guess wait. what the topic So here we go. Uh, so uh, Jeremy, I'm doing the first one, right? Silas Marsh on the deck of a ship, wrestling with the tentacles of a gruesome sea monster. This is the easy one. Wait. It's up where I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. I used this card today. Ancient evil. <laughs> Big. Tentacles exploding. <laughs> exploding. <laughs> uh, all right. The correct answer is overpower. Oh, which yes. uh, uh, Scott, Sean, and Nick got correctly. Oh, no, Ian. Whew. Did Ian guess used... an Ancient Evils? No. no, I put don't remember. I don't think oh. I've used overpower in like two cycles. That's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> First mate French. First mate French. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Glassy eyed, rundown looking man with a bandage on his head on his head looks dizzily oh. into a mirror. Mm. This is a tricky one. Oh I know this one. I can see the image. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Are these all player cards, Matt, or just cards? Cards. Mm -hmm. oh, Donald Trump. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. I can see the card image. <laughs> yeah, me too. So this one, this one's a bit tricky. This one's a little tricky, but there's only one. There's only one correct answer. I'm pretty right, sure. I got it. I got it. Uh, my favorite weakness: amnesia. Yeah. Hmm. How fitting that some of you couldn't remember that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's. <laughs> yeah. Sean, Theme you... win. I went so wrecked by that. nightmares. Okay, so I got it. Oh, I am now ahead of Ian by half a point. What? <laughs> that that art section is where I pulled it back. Yeah. Man. Um, okay. Right. Ready? Mm-hmm. All right. Here we go. Next one. Oh. Uh, a frightened male orderly holds a syringe as if it were a dagger. Well, that, that one very, word really, oh. really gives you a hint. No, it's not that one. I know what you're thinking, Nick. It's a syringe as if it were a dagger. I can see the art. I honestly it's, can't. Yeah. It's, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's something like this. There's like... <laughs> oh, now I can see the art in my head. <laughs> I'm, I'm just putting the, the scenario... Like, I'm passing on my guess, but I put the scenario that I think it's from in the chat. Am I correct? No. Makes sense. Oh, no. <laughs> no. Oh. No! Um, I gotta put something. Wait on, okay. Wait on. <clears throat> I don't even know if this is a card. Well, oh, I, I put it in chat. Well, I'm the last one. Who cares? Yeah. Me, you're the last one, and you got it right. Yeah. <gasps> it's, it's orderly. Oh. <laughs> that was from the um. Uh, the infestation, the waking nightmare scenario. Okay. So it was a scenario. Yeah, I, I just played that one too. Was I the only one that the got that? Side did their the corrupt orderly on the other side? Right. Sean, did you get that one? So, I did. Sh yeah, Sean and Nick got that. I can't yeah. catch up if you keep getting them too. <laughs> I don't That's think there's kind of the I, idea. I don't think there's enough questions for you to catch up to Sean. Hey. Like, 
You never know. I could just dock Sean ten points at the end of Mario <laughs> <Yeah>. Party. <laughs> I did. All or nothing question. I didn't mean to actually arrest right. that statement, Scott. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeremy. Here's the next one. A creepy and gaunt figure carries a grizzly and bloody sack over his shoulder as he walks through the hmm. forest. The sack is squirming and looks like a person is stuck inside. Oh. Nope. 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 I take no. Nope. I know what the art is inspired. I want to put the name of what it's inspired from, but I can't remember the name of the <laughs> card. So I'm going to just... Frick, which is it? There's two words. <laughs> like, all, right, all right, I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. It might be wrong. I'm going to leave it. Okay. All right. It's so, kidnapped. Yes! <sighs> yes! God damn it, I had it right the first time. <laughs> had it, Sean, you had it, and you changed it to abducted. <laughs> <laughs> we just played the one that has abducted. <laughs> I know, maybe that's why it's stuck in my brain. That's mm. probably why. Ian and Scott got that one correctly. Okay. So I wanted to say snatched. The... Yeah, that's, I, I said snatched as well, yeah. The one yeah. that can get Duke sacrificed to... Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, exactly. All right. You guys ready for the final one in this uh, section? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Exactly. personal favorite. Okay. Uh, all right, here we go. Uh, welcome to my job description. Here we go. This nightmarish realm is an alternate version of the city of Hazeth Clegg, which is dark and twisted. The streets are lined with tottering houses that lean together so that they almost form tunnels, blotting out what passes for the sky. Although one appears to be outside while wandering in the city, the sun never shines here, and it is perpetually twilight. Only a single baleful star shines in the sky above, visible between the leaning basalt towers and twisted streets. Zucker. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Good luck. Oh, wow. fucking real! Well, so, oh, I'm sorry. I just cursed live. <laughs> <laughs> You're cool. You're cool. I get the right answer. I'm not even done writing <laughs> or reading. Okay, look, look. If we hadn't oh. specifically talked about this card while you were on here for the interview last time, I don't think I would have remembered it. What campaign right. is it from, Sean? It's the Dream Eaters. It's an Arkham Horror campaign. It's an It is an Arkham Horror campaign. You got that one. I I get Matt to narrate every campaign log someone says. Mm. Uh, I don't think I'm a very good voice actor, but thank you. <laughs> I'm I'm sticking on the the Bloodborne train. All right. I don't even think this is a card. Uh, <laughs> it's not, but I wish it was. That second okay. word is on a card. I know that. Mm, yes, the second word is on a, a card in the circle line. Um, but the correct answer is. It's the city which appears on no map. Oh, uh, yeah, so you go you go through Hazeth Clegg, and then you go through the Temple of Unattainable Desires, and you step through a gateway that leads you to a dark, twisted reflection of Hazeth Clegg, which is the city that appears on no map. That's in Search for Kadath, right? Yes, yeah. it's in Search for Kadath, yeah. It's in the Timeless Realm? Yes. It's in the yeah. timeless. Stop trying to earn extra points, Scott. Yeah. The one with two <laughs> points. yeah, that's the one that you take like five turns to get to, yeah. Yes. It's, it's, it's the longest of the yep. four. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Sean got that one correct. We're going to stop marking your points, Sean. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. We are on to the last section. In this last section, this section is called Beyond the Veil, and it deals primarily with behind-the-scenes questions about either the development of Arkham Horror the card game or questions that you can't simply know by just playing the game. You just have to know them. I'm just going to take a big goose egg right now. <laughs> yeah. right. uh, Jeremy, you got this first one? Yep. The Ancient One in Mordoth was loosely based off another creature invented by author Clark Ashton Smith. What is the name of that creature? Adlak Naka, Magan Arkat, Dasagua, Rodigian, Subject 8, L08. It's definitely the last one. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, still waiting. Okay, all the answers are in. It's more digging. Damn it. Is more digging from the short story The Charnel God, which I recommend everyone read because it's really good. Um, sure. so everyone got that one? 
Horse. Oh, Nick. Huh? Nick, Nick is the only one who didn't get that right. Oh, damn it. <laughs> I got that one right because I guessed correctly. I figured. <laughs> this one's tricky because three, I think three of the uh, answers that are on there were inventions by Clark Ashton Smith. So if you're just mm. familiar with writings, you might pick the wrong one. Um, all right. Next question. Uh, what was the name of the original joke product in which Barkham Horror was introduced? Is it Dreams in the Doghouse, In the Claw, <laughs> The Dog Witch Legacy, The Call of Cat Bulu, The Meddling of Meow Lathotep, This is in the Dark, or The Dogs of Olvar? <clears throat> oh boy, remembering back to that fateful April day. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All of these should be real. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Is, is this well, the Barkham campaign that you're making? <laughs> the <scenario? yeah. laughs> these are the scenario packs in the upcoming. <laughs> Doghouse is pretty great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So the correct answer is the Dog Witch Legacy. Oh, yay. Did everyone get that right? Wow, I just got that right. Yeah. All right, Nick, I'm counting on you. Please don't. Hear me? Take it away. Please don't. Matt, here you go, Nick. Mm. Matt Newman and Nicholas Corey went on a ghost hunt together. Oh. What was the name of the place they explored? I ah. just watched that video again the other day. I was like, that's right, we did nice. a crazy video. I was just going to give myself a point. I have to answer. I don't remember, Damn, I like, two months ago. I had to learn. I was afraid I put it I, in the actual chat. I answered Spookyville because <laughs> that's what I remember. Sean, you should get this. <laughs> I know I should, but I'm not. Yeah, gonna. you're in the area. <laughs> Nate French's house. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Thanks. 1600 Pennsylvania, yeah. <laughs> Pennsylvania Drive. Thanks, Retro <laughs> Daniel, oh, in before myself. Nick forgets he went to, to a place. <laughs> that's, that's, it's room okay, Jeremy. It's the Wabasha Caves. Wabasha! Yeah. Wabasha Caves or the Wabasha Street Caves. Both mm -hmm. acceptable. Anybody else? No. Uh, Nick, you I think Nick's the only one who got that. Yep. Sweet. Surprising. Congrats, right you one. were fucking there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Next question. For Arkham Horror, the card game, there was Call of Cthulhu, the card game. Mm -hmm. Which of the following characters are in both games? Mm -hmm. Check all that apply. Oh, oh no, God. it's gonna be like 30 right. options. Nope, actually it's not. Uh, seven options. Did, uh, Joseph Meyer, Alejandro Vela, Leo DeLuca, Peter Clover, Lita Chandler, Tommy Malloy, or Annette Mason? Oh boy. <laughs> cool. I actually like played four obscure mm. answers on Okay. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, oh. What was the other one? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Ooh, so close. Oh, so close. So many of you are so close. <laughs> okay, so the correct. There's three uh, correct answers. Oh no! Mm. They are Joseph mm. Meyer, Over, and Tommy Malloy. Uh, I was nowhere near. I was gonna leave Leo out too. Me too. Oh. Even I think we answered the same then. <laughs> yeah. yeah and the three plus Leo. Leo, yeah. to look at the trick question because there's card with that art in mm. 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 It is, Yeah. Leo, Leo to Luca. Leo Luca was an invention by yours truly. Uh, but yes, Jeremy. Uh, yeah, good job, Jeremy. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Jeremy, nothing more than Wow, that's, that's a great card. <laughs> the old Mississippi manatee. Yep. In incredible design, Jeremy. <laughs> you guys heard it here. I'm honored. You guys heard it here. Matt birthed the manatee. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's what I heard. Uh, take it away, Jeremy. During Arkham Knights 2019, 
A select few players were able to participate in a secret scenario. What was the villain of that scenario? This is a gimme for you guys. Yeah, if any yeah. of us get this wrong, you're off this podcast. <laughs> I'll list the answer. Even before Nick gets this one wrong. <laughs> <laughs> it's the keeper. Yes, it was. Right. Yeah, y'all got that one. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. <laughs> no one thought it was the, the abs- abstract concept of card gaming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the villain well, that defeats us all. Yet on the online quiz, but I wouldn't be surprised if a couple people thought it might be bad just based on <laughs> yeah. previous. Time. Yeah. Well, I mean, we didn't make it to the end. I would have not have been surprised if that had been the ultimate point. Mm. It seems pretty grand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Last question. Are you guys ready? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. All right. For the implementation of the chaos bag during the design of the core set, which other methods of randomization were used for skill tests? There are two correct answers. Mm. Is it dice, rock, paper, scissors, Cthulhu, <laughs> a deck of cards, coin flipping, a spinner, or a Ouija board? No chaos sock. I, 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 I said that to Matt, I was like, I was like, Nate French is suck. Because <laughs> when he was on this show, right? That's where that's from? He mentioned mm-hmm. using a sock? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was like episode four or something. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> and you said there's two answers, Matt? Two answers. <laughs> Gorefax and chat writes, Matt pushed me downstairs over and over and over. <laughs> I remember that. Mm-hmm. Was... Funny. <laughs> Not gonna lie. <laughs> He's a slinky. I think I, I have everyone's answers. In. The correct the correct answers are dice and a deck of custom cards. Yay! I should have guessed those. <laughs> what? what? Yeah. But Scott got that wrong. Everyone else got that right. That's, uh, that's it. That's it. Okay. That's it. So, no, that's Sean it. won, but who, we know that. So who sucked the most? Chelming, yeah. Chelming gets the the prize uh, from us, which is the Insmith box upon release, as well as a set of of our custom tokens. Um, the runner up, guess who got second? Ian. Me. Yeah. Uh, I was ooh. half a point above Ian. 22.5 oh. ian got 22 scott got 19.5 so that art that section is what choices. saved me <laughs> yeah so I, I in for the that silver mm. come back. <laughs> uh, one thing before we forget uh chelming please email your information to us at mythosbusterspod yes. at gmail.com because we don't know your screen name or other info so please email us your info shipping address name etc q so 80 emails stuff. claiming to be chelming <laughs> don't no from right. mr trench at gmail.com <laughs> <laughs> he changed his screen raffle name to winner. raffle winner yeah <laughs> all right shall i announce the, uh, the winner of the online quiz yeah yeah okay yeah. so we got 72 responses in nice uh they were like, fast by the end so Thank you so much to everyone who participated. Um, the average score was 26 or so. So pretty good. What, what was your score, Scott? Or Sean? Sean ended with uh, 30, 31? 31. Okay. So yeah, the people online did really well. Like this is not an easy quiz. Um, so having an average of like 27 and, and Sean, you won here with 31. That's, that's really good. Um, but only one person of the 72 who submitted their answers got a hundo percent. Five out of 45. Wow. That person, that person is Cuddly Zombie. Cuddly wow. Zombie. Cuddly Zombie. Congratulations. Wow. You got all of them right. That's insane. Cuddle with the Arkham books at night. Uh, good job with your Arkham knowledge and also with your Google Foo. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah that's impressive that's yeah very impressive um we tried to design because we knew that people were going to look up answers right because mm-hmm. 
So we tried to design the questions in such a way that if you were going to look up the answers, either you had to know exactly where to go, which in and of itself means you know a lot about the yeah. game, or it would take you so much time that you wouldn't be able to complete the rest of the, the questions. You know what sure. I mean? Because it took minutes on one question. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the fact that someone was able to get 100% uh, is real good. The, the closest anyone else got uh, was, uh, let's see, uh, 40. Mm. Oh, well, that's still pretty good. Yeah, still really good. There's, there was 40, 49, or 39, 38, 37. There's all a lot in the 30s. But yeah, the majority of people were in the 20s or so. Mm. And then, of course, uh, the bell curve of lower answers as well. Andrew Peck was, in yeah. chat is saying uh, that Cuddly Zombie is secretly Nate French. I think we need to launch a new investigation <laughs> here. Uh, okay, so Cuddly, I don't have, you didn't write your full name here, so just uh, like I'll get in contact with you over Discord, or you get in contact with me over Discord. Uh, I'm I'm Phoenix on Discord, so just find me, and um, we'll we'll I have your email address on here too, so we'll get in, we'll get in touch with you, and we'll you're gonna get a uh, care package courtesy of Fantasy Flight Games. And once again, as a reminder to Starking177, Doovie's Twitch, and Archimago, Archimago, the three of you still win a set of Mythos Busters custom tokens as our Gen Con swag, so we still need the shipping information from you emailed to us as well at mythosbusterspod at gmail.com. So. I believe Archimago is a patron, so we might already Perfect. have his. But yeah. Well, then he gets a second set. And Chelming, also we need you, obviously. Yes. No, Ian said that, but just... I haven't seen them reply in chat, so. We'll reach out to them as well. Yeah. Awesome. Right. Thank you so awesome. much. Thank you for thank you for putting in the work and putting this together, Matt and Jeremy. That was really fun. It was, yeah. It was fun. It was fun yeah, thank you guys. Me and Jeremy had a lot of fun, like trying to think of like fun and interesting questions that because we we didn't want it to just be like, what's the what are the skill icons on a forty five automatic? Right. <laughs> one agility. <laughs> Um, so yeah, we, we had a lot of fun like delving into the lore, and um, a lot of these questions we we just knew. <laughs> we just like yeah. looked them up, um, or we didn't have to look them up. We just kind of knew. So it was fun to see. Uh, it, it was fun to test our own knowledge as mm. well. I think. Yeah. yeah. But I, I had a lot of fun with the art, uh, the art ones. Mm. I would love to do a whole uh, trivia contest in that style at some point. That'd be a lot of fun. I would. I would too. love to do that. Yeah, that'd be really cool. Thank you yeah. so much for structuring the sir, the quiz in such a way that I start off at the bottom and then slowly climb my way up to second place. <laughs> I appreciate that. You're welcome. Well, all the murder, all the murder, the Excelsior Hotel questions are at the end. I yeah. almost got one of them wrong. You gave Nick a great character arc. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> true underdog story, second place. <laughs> you guys have any trivia questions for us? Hmm. hmm. Um. Which? Yeah. Hmm. Does the Twitch chat have any trivia questions for us? Oh, we oh, should have. Question: Where is? Go ahead. That would have been a great one to add. <laughs> Where is Lita Chandler? What's Lita Chandler? <laughs> one seventeen. <laughs> yeah. Um, we should have prepared a Mythos Busters trivia. Which Mythos Busters uh, host has been on the least amount of episodes? <laughs> That's actually a good one. That is a good one. I know the answer. But do you? Yeah, it's Tom Howard. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. <laughs> Justin. Oh, no, that is. That's correct. That's Justin's correct. been Justin on like on... two now, right? Two. Two, two Tom. Which Mythos Busters are affordable. What's that, sorry? Which Mythos Buster is the most quotable? Uh, according to an independent study, that was Nick. Yeah. <laughs> Still verifying that study. No, nope. nope. checks out. Our listeners wouldn't lie. <laughs> um, right. but that's all I have for you guys. Cool. Unless see ya. You have something. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> So have you had a chance to uh, check out any of the videos that have come out from the con, or have you guys been working all week? Uh, we've, we've been pretty hard at work. I, I was able to catch um, Scott's draft earlier, uh, or at least bits and pieces of it, but I just kind of had it on in the background while I was working, so the one, I didn't get to see all of it. The one today with mm -hmm. him and Ian? Yeah. Okay. The one today with you guys. Yeah. That was, that was particularly fun to watch, because 
I had no idea who his teammate was for the longest time. Because he kept talking about Nick was drafting. And I'm like, is his teammate Nick? And he's taking all the combat stuff? This is cool. <laughs> I'm just gonna have shotguns in their deck and uh, yeah, but it was um what else did I I watched a little bit of um the Whisper in Darkness's uh interview with Richard Lee Byers. Mm. That was really interesting. Mm. I might have wanted to check that out. Um I'm a big fan of, of uh the um the Norman Withers novella, so um yeah, that's that's cool. Um but no, I haven't been able to watch a lot of the rest I'm sure I'll I'll pick up on some of it um later this week. Um, also, everyone, uh, stay tuned on Sunday. Me and Jeremy are going to be on another live stream with Fantasy Flight Games. We're going to be doing a, uh, a massive uh, design a card, <laughs> like what we do at Arkham Knights, except instead of with 12 people, we're going to do it with every single person in our Twitch chat. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? I'm sure it's going to work perfectly, and nothing is going to go wrong. The subtitle, the subtitle for that stream is A Thousand Shapes of Horror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much um so yeah but definitely uh stay tuned for that uh, um i don't actually know exactly what time it is jeremy do you know all the time 3 45 p.m there you go central. central central time so definitely uh yeah definitely tune in for that and um if you haven't been tune in for all of the other stuff that we're doing over the weekend for gen con online um, we've got all kinds of previews. We're doing a preview for the Twilight Imperium expansion, which I believe everyone here is currently missing because I think it's like right now. <laughs> um, we're doing a preview of the that uh, new X Men uh, game that we just announced at um, the In Flight Report, um, and uh, a variety of other streams. So definitely check them out as well. Awesome. And if Excellent. you haven't, if you haven't yet, check out. Uh, the, the, the key in the crescent, a novel by Matthew <laughs> Newman. Is that your prototype? Uh, yeah. Oh, look at pretty. Yeah. Um, but it, it's going to be about this much thinner when I'm done editing it. So. <laughs> <laughs> I do like um, the, the uh, you've matched your hair with the uh, the color palette on the book. Mm. It's almost like I like that color. <laughs> <laughs> Well, excellent. Well, thank you both so much for coming yes. on. It's always a pleasure. And yes, Matt, um, 100%. I'm pretty sure I can show you the episode ideas document where we have Let's Ask Matt About Art Descriptions. Yeah. 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 So 100% we like, will make that happen. I like clear them with the art department first, which is why there's only five on this one. But I'm sure that that's something we can do in the future. That'd be really great. That'd be that. really fun. Cool. cool. Maybe we All can right. Do that. Uh, Maybe we can even get uh, Deborah Garcia or Jeff Lee Johnson, one of our art directors, on the show. That'd be yeah. awesome. Oh, that would be yeah. great. Would, For sure. Yeah. I'll, That'd be I'll really cool. Them. Yeah. Perfect. Um, so, guys, our next event is, mm -hmm. what, tomorrow at... Uh, uh, schedule. Right now, finishing draft? Is that what we're... Uh, <laughs> tomorrow at 11.30 a.m. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's the game we're playing. Well, we, we will be streaming our blob because we're participating in blob tomorrow yes. at eleven thirty a.m. Central Standard. But yeah, I don't so think... that's not a that's not on the schedule. So uh, yeah, so the blob itself is on the schedule, but I don't think we announced that we're streaming it. But yeah, we will be streaming our blob game. So stay tuned to our channel for that. Yeah, and definitely follow if you haven't already, uh, and join the Discord for Farkham if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. If someone can pop a link in the chat, that would be fantastic. And then. Uh, if you're feeling rowdy tomorrow night, we're going to do mm. Farkham Con after dark. Whoop, whoop. And Matt and Jeremy are both invited, so I hope you come. Cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Don't commit to it now. It's fine. You can think about it. So we're going to do a little bit of a sit down and drink with uh, whoever among our friends and network shows up, and then we're probably going to close the night out by playing silly Jackbox games until uh, we are incoherent. Mm -hmm. I'm really down for that. Nice. That'd be awesome. Yes. It should be a good time. It's going to cool. be fun. All right. We will do part two of our draft as well. We just haven't decided when. It'll probably be Saturday or Sunday. I guess those are the two options possible. <laughs> <laughs> Other than late night tonight, which none of us are going to do because we've been streaming all day. But yeah, either keep keep tuned to our channels and we'll let you know when we're going to do part two. Nice. All right. Well, thanks everyone for joining us. Get on to the rest of Farcom Con. Is there something we can raid? 
Have we figured that out? No, this oh, is the last uh, one on the schedule for tonight. Oh, excellent. All right. Well, tomorrow, I think tomorrow morning is the next one. I just looked at the schedule. I should double check, mm-hmm. though, to be sure. Yep. We are well, I guess the time the is right to go play Arkham yourself. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. We're done. Go play your own game. <laughs> I mean, are you not entertained? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks everyone for joining us. Have a great rest of the weekend, and we'll see you at some point later. Bye. Night, everybody. Yeah.